Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Bridget Bennett. Over the weekend, fire crews called to a beloved cafe in rural South Dakota. The Spink Cafe was engulfed in flames. And despite their efforts, that local favorite suffered some severe damage. KCAU 9 News reporter Marina Bach joins us at the beloved restaurant to tell us what this tragedy is meaning for that community. It's our top story at 6. Bridget's Pink Cafe is definitely a household name for many people across Siouxland. It's been under new ownership, though, for the past two decades, and they've had a lot of success. Many people are grieving the loss of this well-known business. First of all, I was concerned about the proprietors, you know, because I know that's their livelihood. Second of all, where, where am I going to have a quick lunch if I, you know? <laughs> Arlo Licken was a regular at Spink Cafe. It's a place just down the road from work and home. When I go there and bring my kids and grandkids, I don't really worry about their behavior because it's such a homey atmosphere that, that you know, you just feel comfortable. A family-owned restaurant that brought the community together for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There's some locals that would come in for coffee every morning and wintertime there would be some card playing going on and you could always find Janelle O'Connor and her longtime friend Carol Welch sitting at their usual table. I went there Wednesday through Saturday usually every you know in the morning and talk or play cards. I mean we have meetings there we have coffee there um, it's just the best place. A small town cafe that drew people in miles across Siouxland. My grandkids grew up there my kids grew up there um, we all just love love to go there, and any time we could go, we'd go. We used to go three times a day. I mean, that's a lot of time. That's a lot of food. As the memories begin to unfold in everyone's mind of the great times at Spinks Cafe, community members stay hopeful that there will one day be a new beginning. It'd really be fortunate if they could fix up or rebuild to have something in the community. Elk Point's fire marshal was at the restaurant inspecting all the damages the fire caused. And since then, the family has boarded up the cafe, just trying to protect anything that's left inside. In Spink, Marina Bach, KCAU 9 News. A sad day for a lot of people who loved that place. We reached out to the owners of Spink Cafe. They said at this point, they aren't sure what they'll be doing moving forward, but they did say they appreciate the outpouring of support they've received since the fire.